Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Eastern Siberia. Last time, well, we did have to deal with the annoyance of a long and frustrating struggle to take Fushun. Which was a city, but now it's a town due to the severe reduction of uh, the population. Now we could attack Shenyang if we wanted to, but there is one problem. The enormous number of artillery that Manchuria could field. And of course, right now I'm just going to try to get some units to start going on defensive until we could perhaps slowly rebuild our military. Unfortunately, this does leave the problem of trying to activate some of the buildings. Which doesn't really help with the reserves being rather small. Military staff is about a thousand people, but can't activate just yet. Now we're just going to get some units over here and try to figure out what we're going to do. Either attack Shenyang or try to go around and deal with these annoying cities and towns bit by bit because of the amount of artillery Manchuria would definitely have. Unfortunately, taking these cities is going to be a pain and since I don't have uh, what was North Korea's rather massive army, formerly massive army, under my control, which would have been nice to have sent Gather over here and then start taking territory bit by bit here. That's not the case. Our army is currently extremely tiny. Way too small for the territory we have to try to hold out. We have no new land fabrications because of the problems of well, actually getting the needed, you know, numbers we needed to begin production. And right now, this is just going to take an extremely long time. For cheapness, we're going to go with the light infantries and go with, from there. Right now, all we have are just two other flat fabrications, and that's kind of it. And as you can see here, because of some random Manchurian uh, tank or whatever approaching Fushun, we can now see the extent of what the Manchurians have, and, and I gotta say, it's quite a lot. So in the end, we may have to take Benji, hold it, then head toward the ore mines here, then towards here if possible, but deal with the artillery, but the big problem will be the garrisons and the Manchurians' regular army's counterattacks. So this is in the end going to be a bit of a problem. And right now, our reserves are rather small. We got one lab, uh, land fabrication activated. And hopefully start production. We only have one over here, and that's kind of it, as the production is slow. I'm trying to build recon units after all. Formal alliance with Greater Malaysia, I suppose we could accept, but... Um, well, we really do need armies. We need troops. We need tanks. We need infantry, we need whatever that any nation's willing to just give away. Sadly, that's not the case. So with that, we're just going to have to take a look at what's going on in the rest of the world while trying to build up the army. India and Pakistan... Not really much, other than towns being abandoned due to the constant war. England lost most of its holdings, with West Germany growing in size. East Germany... Uh, does seem to be having some trouble uh, trying to get some 
uh, territories from Poland and Slovakia. Whereas Slovakia is under attack by Hungary. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. Um, wait, are they attacked? No, Hungary is at war with South Germany and Serbia. So, are they allies? No, doesn't look like it. Oh well. Milan and South Germany are still at war, although there are too many time cases where Milan was very close in capturing uh, South Germany's capital, which didn't quite uh, occur. Switzerland not doing much. Attack by so <laughs> I, yeah, I really don't care. California, meanwhile, uh, still has not taken Carson City, the capital of Nevada. But they are still at, but California is still at war with several multiple states. Uh, Arizona and Mexico is one. Colorado, meanwhile, is not doing well against Kansas. Illinois? Well, probably won't be long before they fall. Uh, not much in what was Canada, Central America, not much, South America, Brazil at war with all of its neighbors, in Africa, Georgia Republic, uh, thank you I guess, well, the Georgians, well, the Georgian Republic does have a small army, uh, at least in that case. Some um, bit of an unusual look here with Syria and Egypt dividing, well, including Lebanon, but was in uh, Israel. Uh, let's see. Ethiopia is at war with Rwanda. Speaking of Rwanda, oh, okay. I guess they lost a bit of territory, but. They don't seem to do much, and concerning the Dem Congo Democratic Republic is now firmly landlocked, with the exception of this small town, uh, village. And it's really nothing much. St. Petersburg's invasion of Belarus, which said country is under attack by Ukraine after all. I'm not sure how, lo how long Belarus is going to hold out. Moscow, not really much since their only allies are Cuba, Mexico, and Norway. And that's kind of it when it comes to Europe. Although it does look like South Germany is starting to lose more territory. Not sure what's going to happen there. The Koreans, as always, aren't doing much other than their rather large armies just sitting here. We don't really have much aircraft. We do have some A units that really do need to get on the front line just in case of uh, any new air attacks. Speaking of which, what does Manchuria have in supplies? Still plenty. Still plenty. Unfortunately, they do have the capacity to re uh, pretty much build up their mil military might rather quickly, though. As for us, not really much, but at least we got two of the both land fabrications in Hongnam finally activated. And hopefully build some more light infantry. Along with, I guess, some BMPs and BTRs. And some composite armor research. Of course, considering the AI, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the units where to be deployed by making some rather idiotic decisions. Well, land fabrication here has two type, well, type 86 and type 63 just sitting there. And this town is getting bombed to the point where any more attacks, it could be destroyed. Got aircraft here. I have some other aircraft separate everywhere. I've got a new recon unit. 
which I'm going to send over to the front line. But there's nothing we can do. Really, there really is nothing we can do. We, I don't know. We could try to attack Benji again. Just so we can attack from this direction, but... Uh, as you saw several times, the uh, enemy artillery is going to be a huge problem. And right now I'm dealing with several units that are just going about wherever they want. Particularly infantry units that are, the, that are being built and finished at Hugnam. Well, we just gotta deal with trying to build up the amount of light vehicles, uh, light infantry, and try to get a third lamp fabrication built. It's gonna be a bit expensive, but just do what we can. And oh yeah, la naval fabrications. Those are likely to be one other annoyance. In the meantime. We still got several aircraft, including the bomber, but they're still being repaired and will take a long time. Ships, we don't really have much, especially with the Manchurian Navy all the way over here. And oh yeah, I forgot about North China's war against Tibet. Uyghurstan, or... Eh... Uh, this nation. And I think Inner Mongolia. And of course, South China. But the garrisons here are being bombed a lot, and the town is almost destroyed. Well, that garrison's gone. And my mouse is somewhat acting up, resulting in the units just... ...always making some random directions. Going random directions every time. And I'll just gather them all up here, then... <sighs> I mean, we do have the numbers in terms of the number of tanks we can deploy and artillery. But I have a feel I have a feeling that this is not going to be enough, especially with the amount of artillery that's over here. If we can take Benji, then take these cities and towns. Don't know about Anshan. I guess we could just take... Liaoyang, leave it alone, pull back, repair if we have any units left, and get ready, resupplied, gather here if possible, despite being under attack, and then attack Xinyang itself. Maybe. Maybe, but I don't know. Anyway, it would be nice to get some of these T-72s under our control, as we do have somewhat amount of money and there's no way we can ask because it here is always going to say unknown so we don't really know what we could have at least bought but we can't design wise there's really no point at oh Egypt has the M1 A1 Abrams uh, how much is this 554 million dollars. Which costs us 850 million dollars. Eh, why not? We are going to be a little desperate to get at least any new designs. And now I guess it's time to start building some of our Abrams of our own. Which is going to take a while. And I don't need to do that. Let's just get any units. Uh, let's see, artillery, a gun. These two need to get over here. There we go. I had to manually entrench these garrisons so that the town won't be completely destroyed. I could attack the other direction, get these coal mines, reducing Manchuria's power a bit by bit, then take out these towns. 
But that will take two. But that will take a lot longer for this war to continue and likely to cause even more casualties. Not to mention the garrisons being rather tough. Speaking of which, uh, yeah, Manchuria's military supplies are still strong. And looking at certain towns and cities, research center, military goods in the capital, and other parts of their domain, uh, their territory at least. Consumer goods there, industrial, nothing here, and likely to have several in other parts of their territory at least. But well, we got two new v two new light infantries that are going to be finished very soon. And sadly, there is I don't think there actually is a. There is no auto-deploy of sorts to actually mark where you want your units to be at. So, you have to manually wait for most any new vehicles to be finished, and then you have to send them out to where you want to go. I may have wanted to attack Shenyang, but considering the armies that are over here, it's going to be a problem. And... To be honest, every time I hear a new message from a cer any certain nation, I'm hoping it's from an ally or somebody that's actually willing to, well, sell some of their vehicles. But, as always right now, that's not the case. And labor shortages. Your bases remain inactive. How... Okay, our reserves are gradually increasing, and that vehicle's finished, and it's going the wrong direction. Um, yeah, there's really nothing I can do. It's just going to take a long time to get through all of these. Getting this land fabrication be finished. And even building a brand new land fabrication up here will be rather slow. But for the sake of our military, let's just build another one over there. And hopefully, maybe we might be able to get enough uh, troops. It's nothing but a stalemate right now. I may want to attack Shenyang take end this war very soon. But, I don't know. Let's just get these units to distract some of the Manchurian forces from the north. If possible. With a little bit of air support to intercept any new air, uh, enemy aircraft coming in. All that AT units being damaged. Railways everywhere are not quite finished. But slowly but surely, supply lines are being spread out. Other areas are still, well, still don't really see much progress. I got another unit ready, or is that? Yeah, that's one of, yeah, that's one of ours. In trench. Okay, there's only one garrison left, but that AT unit has been damaged and is retreating. Understandable. Okay, entrenched again. Don't want to lose this town. And all because Manchurians are constantly attacking. Okay, entrenching this time doesn't work because of some units, such as these infantry vehicles that are by nearby Shenyang. The military depot, I should say. And now you get in here and entrench and hold the line. 
and deal with an annoying artillery. Yep. The occupation up there is forcing a response, but not to the units that were here, or actually, they did. Uh... Okay, this may be a bit risky, but let's just get... Let's just get some of our unit, most of our units to get to the front lines as quickly as possible. Form an alliance with Oman, whatever. Actually, looking at the way things are, I guess we could try and take Tia Ling, then go around. But that also still leaves other artillery board units that are going to be annoying. And this also means we may lose this town, so let's just get back in there. Okay, we did lose that, but still, we could at least try to take out some of their units. At the very least, without my mouse making some random decisions. Now we're acting out, resulting in units attacking in, in directions that I don't want them to go. Okay, you know what? Turn around, retake that, and head towards Shenyang anyway. Or actually... Take out... Take Tia Ling. If possible. And I don't want the units to go in any random direction, though. Since I'd rather just try to take that... Or, you know what? I'm just constantly making all these idiotic decisions myself. Taking that, but now can we try and take the, well, military fabrications? Nope. Our units are damaged. Retreat. Pointless. Retreat. Yeah, our units are just weak. Really weak. Doesn't help when we don't get much supplies, after all. And maybe try and... Well, I guess I can have them vent their frustrations by taking this village, if possible. Now to fall back. Taking those will not work. Now it's time to fall back again. And repair. That attack did not go well. Even with air power, probably wouldn't help. Or try and take Benji anyway, and see if we can hold and try and take it. Doesn't seem like it's gonna work. Yeah, we could take out one of the garrisons, but... Hmm. Even with air support, this isn't, this isn't really gonna work. Now I gotta double check what units are being uh, finished up. Light infantry in the recon. And we lost that town again. It seems no matter what we do, this war is just gonna drag on. Until... I guess in the end make a peace treaty. But that would also mean that the Koreans would take the majority of the land in the end as well. Maybe. At least we took this city. Now let's just get up there, take Fushun, and perhaps make a peace treaty anyway, because this is starting to drag on. We really need to make a peace treaty now. It's hopeless right now, so let's just fall back, make a peace treaty. At least I hope the Manchurians will accept a peace treaty very soon. Yet, I'm hoping they would accept a peace treaty very soon. 
Casualties are getting a bit ridiculous after all. And we're finally at peace. Oi. War justification is currently low. It's probably best not to attack very soon. Not very soon in the future, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, Conquest of Manchuria is going to be put on hold. And I don't know if I should uh, cancel full transits. Because there's no way to convince them, after all. Yeah, there's no way. War is over for now. Still, it would have been nice to capture Shenyang if I wanted to, but concerning the artillery advantage that Manchuria has, I'm not gonna bother. We're gonna guard it for the moment, but we are gonna continue to try to recruit more units, uh, more troops in the reserves. And slowly but surely, try to build up our military might. We only have three production facilities currently online. One brand new one, not even halfway done. The other one just being recent. But, we have no choice. Peace it is. And, considering we are a blockade for the Eastern Siberians from ever attacking the Koreans, unless they decide to bomb from here. Which is going to be annoying in that regard. Also, I do need a intelligence academy. Because we are going to need spies in order to find out just what is just what the Manchurians even have. But let's see. Supplies are recovering for them for us as well, I guess. But also get some garrisons if any. We're going to need full garrisons in Fushun. Same with Benji, because these are definitely going to be the main targets if the Manchurians declare war again. Also, we will need a barracks. Somewhere. Somewhere that the population is still large. Well, you know what Fushun would do again for now. The rest of the armies are just going to scatter about, and we're just going to have to wait. Wait for a long time to build up our army once again. Hopefully with numbers, we should be able to overwhelm Shenyang eventually. But for now, we're just going to wait for these land fabrications to be built up, and wait for, well... Recruitment to actually increase in numbers. Right now we only have 16 reserves. Which is not enough. Now it's 407. That's kind of nice to know. Still, at least we have to try and be self-sufficient at the moment. Hopefully get the economy going up. Not by much though, considering what we have will take some time. At least we managed to hold out here, though. Ally under attack by... Lithuania. No. I'm not gonna bother with any new wars. At all. Okay, East Germany is... In trouble. Switzerland has grown in size. That's interesting to see. England is... Uh, what? England is being invaded by West Germany. Okay, I think this is actually the first time we see England getting invaded. I think. I think, but I'm not but I'm not 100% sure. Marcel on your hand is losing territory to the West Germans, considering the West Germans are quite a power right now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hold on. 
I'm gonna pause here because I'm gonna end the video very soon and the annoyance of a video that the game acting up a little bit but let's just try and take a quick look on what's going on the rest of the world yeah if it can load okay California is being counterattacked by Nevada and Illinois and Colorado are still surviving. Colorado looks like they might survive a little longer. It would seem, but yeah, video's not working. Fraps, or just having a lag. But I'm going to stop here. Even though we may be at peace one day when we have the numbers. I, s I swear that when we have the numbers once again, we will declare war on, Sh on Manchuria and take Shenyang and hopefully conquer the majority of uh, uh, Manchuria. Unless Inner Mongolia by that point declares war in Manchuria. Or Manchuria declares war in Manchuria. Whichever. I mean, Inner Mongolia. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and see you again in the next episode.